Hey, what's up YouTube? Scotty with Evil Castrigal. I know it's been a minute, had a lot going on. We got a newborn baby at the house and we are actually moving into a new home. So I haven't posted in a few weeks. So I apologize for that, but if you can see behind me, we've got a new little uh, video series that's gonna be going up throughout the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna ride some Suzuki's because here at my job, the wonderful CC Power Sports, we've got the Suzuki demo rig here. This is the big rig. This is the one that goes to all the big bike rallies. And we've got loads of motorcycles on this truck. I'll put a list of everything that's on the truck right here. But what we are gonna be riding today, I've picked out a few of my favorites. Um, let's check out the one that we're gonna be riding in the first video. So the bike that we are gonna be riding is the Busa. I don't know which color I'll be taking out. I'll either take out this anniversary edition or the black one here. But I'm excited to ride it. I've actually never got to ride a Hayabusa. And the thing I like about this one is that little button right there, cruise control. You don't get that on a ZX-14. So I've never ridden a Hayabusa, obviously, like I just said. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, if you've watched the channel, I'm not a huge fan of sport bikes. They just are kind of uncomfortable for me. Um, but this one, I have a feeling is going to be a little more comfortable. So we'll get into the saddle and I'll kind of just give you my impressions of the motorcycle. Uh, first ride thoughts, basically. So without further ado, Let's get into the saddle. All right, we're on the Busa. Visor down, revs are up. Maybe the visor's not down yet. It's a little hot today. Let's see how the Busa feels in some corners, about as many corners as you can get in Clarksville, Indiana. Not a lot of twisties down here, unfortunately, but this is where we are. Bike sounds great, though. Even though the officers up here were giving me crap for having the stock exhaust on it. <laughs> Booses. Let's see here. Creep around. All right. So I've never been a Busa guy, but uh, I got to say, the limited amount of time that I've had in, on this thing, uh, I am enjoying it. <laughs> um, I might get the Busa hype now. I think, uh, you know, for a long time, I've always thought the ZX-14 may be the way to go just because it has more power, but do you really need more horsepower? <laughs> I mean, this thing's crazy. <laughs> and it's actually not too uncomfortable. In the past, when I've ridden sport bikes, uh, I've had a lot of neck pain, but I, so far, I, it's not too bad. I mean, you are leaned over. It's more aggressive feeling. But it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, your price point wise, obviously this is going to be a little more expensive than the ZX-14. I'll put the MSRP of the Busa right here. Ooh, we're going to get a little corner, a little corner action. Let's see how it feels. Downshift a little bit maybe. Here we go. We got a nice little curve right here. Nice and easy. Very lovely. Quick shifter, works flawlessly. Oh yes, very nice, very nice indeed. Me likey. Me likey a lot. So one thing I'll say before we get on the freeway, obviously I rode up the freeway to get to where we are. Um, I was finicking with the cruise control. I'm sure it works. I'm sure it's a user error thing, but I have had a very hard time setting the cruise control on this motorcycle. Um, so that might be one of my complaints with the Busa is it's it's awesome to have the cruise control, but, um, and, and like I said, it's, I'm sure it's user error, but it's difficult and um, that just kind of stinks. 
I'm sure once I get it figured out, it's not too bad. So we're going to turn the cruise on here. So now the cruise is on, and we'll try and set it when we get on the freeway. Yep, it gets up and goes. It's really, uh, you know, this kind of sport bike uh, riding position is not too bad once you're on the freeway. I have to say, it, uh, the wind really does help you, um, kind of hold you up. Yeah, I don't know how to set it. Ah, uh, there we go. We switched it to mode, so I hit the mode button. And now it is set. No, it's still not set. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Man, I have no idea how to do it. If you hold it, it just goes down. I don't know. I gotta say, uh, Suzuki, you need to make that a little bit easier. I mean, it's I, I, it should be easier than this. I shouldn't have to study the booklet before I can use cruise control. Every other motorcycle I've ever got on, it works just like it does in your car. Uh, so, for all of the uh, awesomeness that is this thing, um, yeah, they, they, they need to they need to get uh, they need to get that figured out. Like right now, it's set, but as soon as you let off, you have to like hold the throttle. Very bizarre. It, like, won't let you go any faster than that. So it's like a limit. Now I can't get it off. <laughs> so it's like a... It's not like... It, I don't know. For some reason, it's not holding the throttle like I would want it to. It's just kind of... Like setting a speed limit, basically. So you can't go any faster than that. Which is okay, but... Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but it's... Not my favorite thing on the motorcycle. So I guess that would be uh, my one complaint. Other than that, it's great. And again, I'm sure that that's just something I'm not doing correctly. But I don't know. Maybe ride one and make the decision for yourself whether you like that or not. Anyway, that's my time on the Busa. I like it. It's really fun. It's super powerful. And it's not that uncomfortable. I'll check you guys later.